everybody, this is Bobby. Welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. Uh, if this is your first time, welcome. Um, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Uh, I created this channel to talk about uh, bargain whiskeys uh, that are good quality and that you can get for under $30 for a bottle. Um, today's review will be on Old Overholt Straight Rye Whiskey. Uh, they make this in uh, Claremont, Kentucky. This distillery was founded in um, 1810 by Abraham Overholt, and it is America's oldest rye whiskey. Um, some of the most famous figures in history to enjoy this whiskey and call it their favorite are uh, Abraham Lincoln, Mark Twain, and Doc Holliday. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, good company there. Uh, I actually, this is my favorite whiskey uh, to order at my favorite bar here in town. The uh, bar was uh, opened in 1859, so it's got that old saloon feel to it. And, uh, you know, like going in there listening to my old country music, uh, you know, kind of cool playing some Hank Williams or some Merle Haggard and, and drinking a double of uh, Old Overhaul. So uh, without further ado, want to check this whiskey out. So, first thing we'll look at is the color. So this is a, it's like a light amber, kind of a, um, kind of a light syrupy flavor or uh, color to it. Um, kind of a, maybe a yellowish gold color. Uh, this is a 40% alcohol. Um, it's a, it's aged for about three years and it's a, it's a, as I said before, a straight rye whiskey. The nose. So first thing you get with this is kind of a just a rye spice to it. Um, you got some uh, floral uh, notes to it. You know, uh, kind of like if you're walking through a, through a flower garden. Um, you know, it's got some honey. Uh, aroma to it. Um, see if there's anything else in there. A little bit of caramel, maybe. Just a little bit. A little bit of that uh, oaky uh, nose to it. Just way in the back there. Not too, uh, not too loud, I guess, with the uh, with the oak. All right, let's try it out. So the first thing you get is definitely that rye spice. Uh, it's got a little bit of, uh, as I said in my last review about uh, about George Dickel number twelve, it's got that kind of uh, cinnamon, not cinnamon, but uh, like herbal spiciness to it. Um, well, you get that from the rye. You definitely taste the rye in this. Definitely some, uh, maybe some dried fruit, you know, raisins, dates. Maybe some uh, citrus notes as well, uh, lemon zest, or uh, maybe that grapefruit peel. It's a good whiskey. You know they got to be doing something right to be in business for over 200 years now. So I definitely recommend getting a bottle of this if you can find it. Uh, they don't always have it everywhere you go. I go to you know the local CVS or or Bevmo. Bevmo usually carries it for a little more, um, about 20, 21, 22 dollars a bottle. Um, CVS pharmacy uh, carries this for. Uh, well, if you can find it at CVS, uh, I've only seen it in a few around here, so um, it's probably about 18 or 19 there. I think I got this bottle actually 
for about $19 out the door. So pretty good price. Um, and if you can find it, give it a shot. Uh, rye whiskey. I mean, this was this was the stuff back in the day. And uh, it's definitely making a comeback. Everybody seems to be putting out a rye whiskey now. So uh, old overhaul. Go get a bottle today. Cheers.